Have you ever wondered why cholesterol, a naturally occurring substance in our bodies, gets such a bad reputation? Well, let's dive right into it. Cholesterol isn't all bad. In fact, it's an essential fatty substance that our bodies need to function properly. It's a key player in the formation of cell membranes, hormones, and bile acids. Without cholesterol, our cells wouldn't be able to maintain their structure, our hormones wouldn't be able to regulate body functions, and our digestive system wouldn't be able to break down fats. But here's where things get a bit complicated. There are two main forms of cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, dubbed as the bad cholesterol, and HDL cholesterol, the good one. LDL, or low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, is often labeled as bad because it can contribute to the buildup of plaque in the arteries, a condition known as atherosclerosis. This accumulation can lead to clogging of the arteries, restricting blood flow, and ultimately resulting in heart disease. On the other hand, HDL, or high-density lipoprotein cholesterol, is known as the good cholesterol. It's the knight in shining armor, traveling through the bloodstream, picking up excess cholesterol, and carrying it back to the liver for disposal. By doing this, HDL cholesterol helps to remove cholesterol from the body, thus protecting the heart. So in essence, cholesterol is a double-edged sword. On one side, it plays indispensable roles in our body, but on the flip side, an imbalance between LDL and HDL cholesterol can lead to health complications. Having too much LDL cholesterol or not enough HDL cholesterol in the body can disrupt this balance, leading to high cholesterol levels, which can increase the risk of heart disease and stroke. Therefore, maintaining a balance between LDL and HDL cholesterol is vital for our health. Just like the yin and yang, it's all about balance. The good and the bad need to coexist harmoniously for our body to function optimally. So, while cholesterol is essential, an imbalance between LDL and HDL can potentially lead to health complications. Remember, it's all about balance. How does one end up with high cholesterol and why should it be a cause for concern? Let's delve into these questions. High cholesterol, often a silent threat, can be the result of various factors. Genetics play a significant role. If your family has a history of high cholesterol, you might be more susceptible to it. However, our lifestyle choices are often the main culprits. Unhealthy diets, rich in saturated and trans fats, can lead to an increase in LDL, or bad cholesterol. These fats are commonly found in foods such as red meat, full-fat dairy products, and many commercially baked goods. Consuming these in excess can tip the cholesterol balance in the wrong direction. A lack of physical activity can also contribute to high cholesterol. Regular exercise helps boost your body's HDL or good cholesterol while reducing LDL. It also helps keep your weight in check. Obesity, characterized by having a body mass index of 30 or more, can increase LDL and decrease HDL. Now let's shift gears to the risks associated with high cholesterol. The primary concern is atherosclerosis, a disease where plaque builds up inside your arteries. This plaque, made up of cholesterol, fat, calcium, and other substances, can narrow or block your arteries, leading to various heart diseases. When this happens in the coronary arteries that supply blood to your heart, it can cause chest pain or a heart attack. If it happens in the arteries that bring blood to your brain, it can lead to a stroke. These are serious and life-threatening conditions, which is why high cholesterol is a concern that should not be taken lightly. So, it's not just about having cholesterol in our bodies. It's about maintaining the right balance. Too much LDL cholesterol or too little HDL cholesterol can put us at risk. By understanding the causes and risks of high cholesterol, we can make informed decisions to lead a healthier life. Clearly, it's not just about having cholesterol in our bodies, but more about maintaining the right balance. So, what can we do if our cholesterol levels are out of whack? Well, the first step towards managing high cholesterol is understanding that it isn't a death sentence. It's a wake-up call that nudges you towards a healthier lifestyle. The key to managing high cholesterol lies in two main areas, lifestyle and diet. Let's start with lifestyle. Regular physical activity is crucial in managing cholesterol levels. It helps raise HDL, the good cholesterol, and lower LDL, the bad cholesterol. Whether it's a brisk walk, a vigorous gym workout, or a calming yoga session, the idea is to get moving and keep that heart pumping. Now let's talk diet. A healthy diet can work wonders in lowering cholesterol levels. 
Incorporating a variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains into your everyday meals can significantly reduce cholesterol. It's about embracing healthy fats, like those found in avocados, fish, and nuts, and saying no to trans fats and saturated fats, often hidden in fast foods and baked goods. But what if lifestyle and dietary changes aren't enough? That's where medication steps in. Statins are commonly prescribed drugs that help lower LDL cholesterol, reduce the risk of heart disease, and protect the heart. But remember, medication is not a magic pill. It works best when combined with a healthy lifestyle. It's also worth mentioning that regular checkups and monitoring of cholesterol levels are vital. It helps track progress and adjust treatments as needed. In conclusion, managing high cholesterol is a balancing act between diet, exercise, medication, and regular monitoring. It's about making long-term commitments to healthy habits. Remember, it's not just about medication. Lifestyle changes play a significant role in managing cholesterol levels effectively. So let's eat better, move more, and live healthier. Because when it comes to your heart, every beat matters. Cholesterol is not our enemy, but an essential part of our body's functioning. It's crucial to remember that cholesterol plays a vital role in our health, from forming cell membranes and hormones to producing bile acids necessary for digestion. Like most things in life, balance is key. Too much of the bad LDL cholesterol can lead to health issues, but with the good HDL cholesterol, we can keep things in check. Regular monitoring of cholesterol levels is essential. It allows us to catch any imbalances early on and take necessary action. This could mean altering our diet to include more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, increasing our physical activity, or in some cases, taking prescribed medication. Remember, our lifestyle choices play a significant role in determining our cholesterol levels. So, let's make choices that promote balance, heart health, and overall well-being. With a good understanding of cholesterol and its role in our body, we can ensure a healthy heart and a healthier life.